A beautiful red-haired girl stared somewhere into the distance and a smile shone on her face, giving her a mysterious and attractive look. It was just the cover of a magazine with idols, next to it was a portable console and a notebook of the main character, all this was necessary for the university. The story begins with a guy named Chin Ze, after a hard job and barely passing the exams, he was enrolled in Kai Jing University. This day was the beginning of a new chapter in his life, an opportunity to open up new horizons of knowledge and skills, the guy was full of determination and enthusiasm. He was very happy, he no longer had to listen to his parents pressuring him and constantly demanding the impossible from him. His older sister was lazy, so she wouldn't reproach him for anything, the guy was beaming with joy until he was interrupted by the sudden creaking of the door to his room. The student quickly closed his bag, which contained everything he needed for his studies, and stared intently at the door. A girl who was dressed as an office worker came into his room and greeted the protagonist. She had a beautiful and dazzling smile and cheerfully announced that she had come for him. The protagonist was a little surprised when he looked at his sister, he felt a little bewildered that she had just entered his room. The girl knocked the guy down right on his bed and asked if he was happy or surprised to see her. Chin Ze was very nervous and told her to let him go, because the guy would get in trouble because of her rash actions. Chin Bao Bao took the young man's hand, her voice sounded surprised and slightly dissatisfied, she asked how he could say such a thing to her sister. With a feeling of irritation, the main character began to scold the beauty for idleness, pointing out that she lies on the bed all day long and does nothing, in a stern tone, the guy asked what she was doing here at all. The sister felt hurt and annoyed by the protagonist's words, she decided to interrupt his grumbling and slapped him on the cheeks in an attempt to get his attention and stop the flow of words. The girl got really angry and said that he had just finished school, where did he get such courage to talk to her like this, if the guy continued like this, she would bring him back to school. The protagonist does not trust his sister, despite her kind attitude towards him, the beauty can really send him to school. The boy's parents were sitting in the main hall, the father was reading the newspaper as usual, the sister shouted that it was his first day of school, so she did not want to quarrel with her brother. A relative grabbed the protagonist and pulled him out, taking a bag with her, the guy began to ask his parents that they would continue to watch his sister mock him. The mother decided to intervene and told the sister not to bully her brother and to send him to school as soon as possible. The girl let the guy go and agreed with her mother's words, they immediately went to study at the university. The guy was confused and questioned, he looked at his sister impressed and didn't understand what she was doing. Chin Bao Bao turned around with a beautiful smile to her brother and said that she was sending him to study at the university. He slowly and reluctantly followed his older sister, expressing his reluctance to go to university. The sun was shining brightly outside, and the large skyscrapers that stretched to the sky were already very close. The main character was sitting in the back seat of the car, his sister was humming something merrily under her breath, and the streets were rushing by, along which many people were walking. The guy looked at the girl in surprise, it seemed to him that she was up to something, it was all very strange. Chin Ze looked out the window of the car and noticed that they had already arrived at Kai Jing University. The blue-haired guy relaxed and thought that he was too prejudiced against his sister, perhaps she just wanted to take care of him and there was nothing to worry about. The girl pressed the gas pedal, and they accelerated at lightning speed, the main character did not understand what was happening here. Leaning against the window of the car, he did not understand why they passed the university, the guy told his sister that they were going in the wrong direction. His sister looked in the rearview mirror and said she would send him there later, but for now let him enjoy the ride. His face expressed a deep state of frustration and bewilderment, he looked at his sister trying to sort out his thoughts while his sister continued to go somewhere. The guy decided to speak up and said, as expected, you are not such a kind and caring sister. He asked what she was going to do, the guy wanted the girl to come back, but the sister got angry and said it was all for his own good and reminded him that she was very short-tempered, so it was best not to make her angry. The main character apologized to his sister and told her to go wherever she wanted, the girl was happy with such words from her brother. Upon arriving home, the sister dragged the bag with the blue-haired student's belongings behind her. The girl opened the doors and said that she needed to unpack her brother's things first, and then she would take him to the university. The brother was a little shocked by what was happening, he didn't understand why she had brought him here, because the girl could have just sent him away. 
his sister threatened that if he didn't hurry, she would send a photo of his luggage to the boy's parents. The guy was disheartened by his sister's statements, so he decided to do as she said. The blue-haired guy was a little confused, but decided to ask her what she was going to do next, not quite sure how they would continue to communicate after what had happened. Chin Bao Bao replied that the university is not the best place for his brother, there are a lot of smelly boys and the day starts with sadness, adding that everyone there loves to drink and watch movies. The girl said that compared to this, her company would be much better than any university, but the guy, taking up the bag, casually said that he saw her very often and was already tired of her. The sister looked at her brother a little touchy, the main character added that he wanted to go to university and get a taste of life. A relative grabbed the guy by the hand, shouting his name, the brother was frightened, not understanding what the sister wanted from him. His sister looked at him and said that she was a very weak girl, but she lived alone and was very lonely. The guy, feeling agitated and irritated, abruptly grabbed her head and said with a note of tension in his voice, that's enough. But the girl was very persistent, she replied that it would be uncomfortable for him to live in a dormitory. She held out her hand, pointing to her large house, which was very spacious and much more comfortable than a dormitory. Chin Bao Bao also hinted that cleaning the house is very troublesome, as if to make it clear that she needs help or support in keeping the house tidy. Grabbing the water tank, she said that it was very difficult for her to change it, the guy was not confused and said to find someone who could help her. They went to the kitchen and she expressed her disappointment that no one was using the kitchen, she thought it was very sad, however the guy again argued this by saying that she should learn how to cook. The brother looked at his sister in irritation and asked if there were other reasons, he wanted the girl to tell him about them. The girl, touching her breasts, said that she was very beautiful and with a good body, what if at night someone would break into her house, and she would be alone, no one would protect his sister. No. The girl looked embarrassed, she asked her brother what he would say to mom and dad. The protagonist replied that he was more worried about the people who would break into her house, the student took the bag and said goodbye. His sister grabbed his bag and didn't want to let the protagonist go, she yells at the guy not to leave. The relative, smiling, threatened the guy that she would shout the word pervert to the whole neighborhood if he left now. The young man, feeling surprised, did not understand his sister's behavior and so she asked her seriously. The brother explained that even if he wanted to live with her, the university would not give permission to do so, if they found out that the student was living with his sister, he could be expelled. The hieroglyph on the beauty's neck lit up, but the main character did not notice it, after which she approached her brother. Chin Bao Bao hugged the protagonist's hand with a smile and said that she had been waiting for such an answer, if they lived together, it would not be a problem. She smiled, making it clear that everything was fine, her father had already figured it out, the guy was shocked by such statements. Chin Ze took out his phone and opened his contacts to make a call, while his sister still insisted that he live with her. He decided to call his father to let him live in the student dormitory instead of with his sister. The father answered the call, he clearly did not want his son to live in a dormitory, the old man was determined that the main character lived in the house with his sister. The father also added that he and his mother would worry about their daughter, so the son should live with her. The blue-haired guy wanted to say at least one word in a conversation with a relative, but he was not allowed to do so. As soon as the guy began to object, the man immediately said that he should not worry about such a trifle, if he wanted, he could stay at the university from time to time, it was not against the rules. The father decided that if they lived together, his sister could help him with his studies, since he did not study well, as well as supervise him. The man said that when guys go to university, they get high and go crazy, dormitories have a bad influence, the main character was shocked by such statements by his father. He went on to tell the protagonist that the brother was stupider than the sister, so they decided to put them together so that their father and mother wouldn't have to worry about them. The protagonist was seething with rage and as soon as the student wanted to shout into the phone that he was stupid through no fault of his own, something stopped him. The brother could not utter a word to his parents, knowing that he could hurt the feelings of his sister and parents with these words. The guy shivered and told his parents to stop and not change the subject, he still wanted to live in the student dormitory. Chin Ze wanted to say that they were left to live together because they were not biological siblings, but he didn't say anything. When the student was young, he accidentally overheard his mother talking to someone on the phone, in the conversation, 
the guy heard that he or his sister was not a child of the Chin family. The boy stood near the entrance and listened as his mother asked on the phone if this child was not from the Chin family, if they would be any different. After that, the boy was very frightened and began to cry, then he ran to his older sister to tell her what he had heard. When he entered his sister's room, the crying boy said that when his mother was on the phone, she said they were not born of the same parents. The girl got up and walked over to her brother, she told him that the boy had been sold for a mobile phone, so he shouldn't tell anyone or he would be sold again. At that moment, the protagonist was in great fear, he did not want to be sold, so he remained silent. His sister praised him for keeping quiet and patted him on the head, which calmed the boy down a little. Chin Zhe decided to remain silent, realizing that his father had already made the decision for him and realizing that arguments could not lead to anything good. The young man, suspecting that his father had planned everything from the beginning, asked him why he had done this. There was silence on the phone, the man could not answer this question, after which he stopped talking. The main character shouted into the phone, don't hang up, and then the sister patted her brother on the shoulder. The blue-haired guy turned his head and saw a happy sister there, she said that she left everything to him. The girl, teasing the guy, said that she would go to sleep in her room, and he should cook food and then call her. Chin Zhe didn't have the words to describe the situation, he just stared at the kitchen in silence. The guy was furious, he understood that the girl only wanted to use her brother to do nothing herself. The girl went to her room, lay down in her bed and lay charmingly, hugging her pillow, feeling peaceful. It's been three years since the protagonist settled at his sister's house, clothes and garbage were everywhere. There was a half-eaten pizza on the table and a lot of garbage near the trash can. The scene with many empty bottles of alcohol on the table suggests that the night was not without incident. The sun was shining brightly outside, illuminating every corner of the house and filling it with warmth and light. The main character was lying on the bed covered in kisses, he dreamed that someone wanted to take him away. A guy in a dream was talking about someone wanting to take his beer away from him and he was going to do something. But his sleep is interrupted by the rattle of the door, someone knocks on him, he abruptly gets out of bed, not understanding who it is that is breaking into his room. My brother takes his head after a hangover, he feels very bad after yesterday, and he understands that yesterday he drank a lot, but he did not understand why he was on the bed. Someone has started knocking on the door even louder and the guy hesitates and thinks about whether to open it or not. He says disgruntled stop knocking, if they have something to say, please say it directly. It was a girl who called the guy emperor, and she also said that she was hungry. Packing his things, he decided to get dressed and go to the kitchen to cook something, the girl told him to hurry up. The blue-haired guy, barely waking up from sleep, promised his sister that he would soon cook her something to eat. He stepped across his room and suddenly slipped on the remnants of yesterday's food that had been left on the floor. The guy couldn't hold on, as a result, he fell and hit the corner of the bed with all his might. Instantly, he collapsed to the floor, his consciousness vanished under the impact of a violent impact on the corner of the bed. He opened his eyes and found himself surrounded by an incomprehensible space, with no idea where he was or how he got there. Looking around, the guy was full of bewilderment as he could not understand what exactly had happened. Looking into the void, he wonders how he got here, why voices are heard everywhere, and how to get out of here. Chin Zhe hears a bound host fit for pegging, the guy turns around, but there's no one there, a blue-haired man asks who's there, let them come out. The guy listens attentively, but cannot understand where this voice is coming from, the whole situation seems mysterious and incomprehensible to him. After that, a voice is heard saying that the system will be automatically updated, the guy scaredly asks which system and what he needs to update. The brother slowly comes to his senses, his thoughts still vague from what has happened, and he feels a slight shock from what he has seen. The blue-haired guy begins to recall what happened and remembers hitting his head, this realization adds some anxiety and worry to him. He feels a little confused, not understanding why he doesn't hurt after hitting his head, which makes him wonder if it was just a dream or not. Chin Zhe thought that it was just his sister who had tormented him for too long, he was living a meaningless life to have such dreams. A student opened the curtains in his room and his room was filled with the light of the sun, creating a feeling of coziness and warmth. He felt joy at the beautiful day that opened up before him, the protagonist was inspired by the light and warmth of the sun that filled his room. A blue-haired guy cleaned his room to make it look neat and ready for a new day. 
He slowly opened the door of his room and decided to walk around the house to inspect it. The guy saw a real mess in the living room, bottles of alcohol were on the table and garbage was scattered everywhere. Realizing that the mess in the house should not be left unattended, the guy began to clean, deciding to restore order and comfort in the house. He took out a garbage bag and began to put the garbage that was lying everywhere in it, trying to clear the space of clutter. Yawning, the brother felt an inner need to tidy up the table, having previously removed the bottles, he tried to regain a sense of control over the situation. As he cleaned up, the student carefully examined every corner of the room and suddenly felt something unusual in his hand. It was a cup hidden in a stocking, which seemed strange and unusual to him. He turned away and thought that his sister was a pervert, could it be that her friends didn't hate her for this, the guy decided to get rid of only his things. The guy, annoyed by this unexpected discovery, resolutely went to throw out the garbage. Chin Ze felt a little tired, picking up garbage all over the house, but continued to work hard, trying to finish cleaning as soon as possible. The guy wanted to freshen up a little after cleaning the house in the morning, so he went to the bathroom to wash his face. The relative felt a pleasant relief and a feeling of freshness, which inspired him to take further action. He put on his apron and began to cook, enjoying the pleasure of being able to create a delicious meal. The guy gladly took the cooked food from the microwave, poured milk and put it all on the table. The student felt proud and satisfied that he had been able to successfully prepare the meal. The brother went to his sister's room and opened the door, ready to start a conversation and call her into the kitchen so she could enjoy her meal. There was a very strong smell of alcohol from her room, the guy did not understand why she could not act like a normal girl. He went into the room and opened the curtains, his brother began to wake the girl, as breakfast was already ready. The sister, who was clearly wrapped in a blanket, did not want to go, she was dreaming something, and she was muttering something under her breath. Yesterday, my big sister turned 25 and she wanted to do something incredible that day. The day before, the sister had walked into her brother's room announcing that she was turning 25 and it was her anniversary, she wanted to do something incredible. The protagonist thought about it and came to the conclusion that 25 years is not an anniversary, after that he learns that she decided to invite her friends to her. When the friends arrived, it turned out that there were three of them, and each of them had brought an alcoholic beverage with her. The sister never knew how to drink wine, so she called her brother to help her, as soon as he came, the girl grabbed him and told her friends that the main character had arrived. Her friends immediately pounced on the guy and began to give him alcohol, the main character was not very happy that they were trying to get him drunk. A real chaos began, a bunch of drunk girls paired with the main character began to have fun, getting more and more drunk with strong alcohol. But then, unexpectedly for everyone, the sister decided to kiss the main character on the lips, which embarrassed him very much in this situation. The beauty only laughed in response, enjoying the unexpected abundance of alcohol and simple fun in the house. The guy, remembering yesterday, felt a little irritated, due to unexpected circumstances and some unpleasant events that happened that day. The protagonist decided to pull out the blanket so that his sister would already wake up and go to eat, she had no right to sleep after yesterday. With a burning gaze, he grabbed the blanket and pulled the blanket off the girl with a flick of his hands, shouting to get up. Chin Ze saw the girl sleeping like an angel on her bed, hugging her pillow. He was very surprised that his sister did not wear sleeping clothes, and this caused him additional bewilderment. The blue-haired guy stood still and waited for his sister to try to wake up and get out of bed. Embarrassed, the girl covered herself with a blanket, surprised by her brother's unexpected behavior. Her brother emphasized the girl's appearance and said that she had a good bra, after which he asked when she had started chasing fashion. The relative began to ask more questions, but in response he received a pillow in the face, the girl got a little angry and told him that she was already an adult and had never gone on dates. Sighing, the girl called herself a loser, expressing her feelings of insecurity and disappointment in herself. The student supported his sister and told her to be herself, emphasizing the importance of self-expression and self-acceptance. Then he turned his back on his sister and said it was time to get up and go to breakfast, trying to shift his attention to the more pleasant moments of the day. The girl decided to ask the guy why he was leaving, if she wasn't charming, if she could attract a man's eye. The pillow instantly flew into the air and hit her in the face, disrupting the peaceful morning and adding a bit of playfulness to the setting. The beauty was a little offended by her brother, 
after which she decided to go to the kitchen to see what the guy had prepared for her. The guy went to the kitchen and drank a glass of milk, enjoying the quiet morning and the pleasant atmosphere in the house. Holding the glass in his hand, he noticed how his sister was suffering from a hangover, she went into the kitchen, she was not in the best condition. Smiling, the guy said that yesterday he was the one who was forced to get drunk by her friends. The girl was clearly dissatisfied with her brother's words, asked him why he was overdoing it, because they had done nothing wrong. The sister looked at her brother uncomprehendingly and explained to him that it was the brother who had gone too far. The beauty reminded the guy that she was the one who raked everything yesterday, after he fell unconscious on the floor. The girl pointed her finger at herself and expected praise and gratitude from her relative for her work. Chin Bao Bao said that drunk girls had to call their boyfriends to pick them up, and those who didn't have a boyfriend had to call a taxi, and one of the friends threatened the taxi driver not to do anything to the drunk girl. She did all this until 3 o'clock in the morning, only then could she go to bed. But today, the girl was woken up by a rumbling in her stomach, she decided to have a little snack and reached for food. At the same time, however, her brother slapped her on the arm, expressing his disapproval and irritation at mentioning the previous day's event. The guy said that she didn't deserve it yet, let her brush her teeth and wash her face first, otherwise she wouldn't get food. The girl puffed out her cheek in response to the blow on the arm from her brother and his words, expressing her displeasure and resentment at his actions. She pretended to go brush her teeth and wash her face to avoid further confrontation and get out of the situation. As soon as her brother was distracted, she immediately grabbed the food and started eating it, the girl saw that the guy noticed her. The sister immediately ran with the food to the door, the guy did not even have time to grab it, as he was bewildered by this situation. The girl teased her brother by sticking her tongue out from behind the door, adding playfulness and humor to their interaction. But her brother threw a slipper at her, and she barely had time to close the doors, trying to defend herself from his playful attack. Chin Zhe said that she couldn't act like an elder sister, expressing his displeasure with her behavior and pointing out her repeated pranks and games. The beauty gave the middle finger and said that he was a pervert who was spying on his sister while she was sleeping in her bed, so he had no right to say it. The main character was a little confused, but surprisingly quickly came to his senses, realizing what situation he was in. With a sigh, he let go of his excitement and immersed himself in a memory from the past when he and his sister were still children. For as long as he can remember, his sister has been a little princess to mom and dad, they gave her everything she wanted and served her like a queen. As they scolded the boy and beat him for any wrongdoing, he realized how unfair his parents were to his sister. It was like heaven and hell, his sister being treated as if she were their own child who had been brought by an angel. Feeling superfluous in the family, the boy was really a gift that was used simply to pay for the phone. As a young boy, he would ask his parents why they treated her so well and why they spoiled her so much. The boy asked his father that it was all because she looked very beautiful, this could be the reason for such attention and care to his sister. The father only said that he should understand their efforts, since ancient times men have been treated better. Therefore, they care more about him, and therefore treat the boy more strictly, he did not understand these words, he had nothing to say. But no matter what expectations the parents had for their son, everything always went wrong, and the guy lost hope of changing anything, he is just an ordinary person. The sister grew up on praise, which contributed not only to her attractiveness but also to her mental development beyond his. Exams were like a game for her, she did not prepare for them, but rather preferred to spend time having fun with friends. Chin Zhe stopped thinking about it as he began to eat his dinner, putting aside his thoughts about his sister and parents. The guy starts to get angry, not understanding what his sister is doing for so long in the bathroom, he asks her a question about what she fell into the toilet or what happened to her. Her brother screamed she wanted him to get her out of there, expressing his bewilderment and irritation at her long stay in the bathroom. Sister comes out of the bath patting her cheeks, she thinks about something until her brother understands what she is doing. The beauty turned to the guy and told him that girls need more time to wash. The young man felt a shiver in his body because of what he saw and his sister's words, he did not know what to say to this. He grabbed his phone and told her that it was 8.25 am, that she would have to go to work soon. The brother also reminded his sister that it took her 10 minutes to wash her face and brush her teeth, even if she could eat breakfast in 5 minutes, she would be too late. The student began to list that she still needed to change clothes, 
put on makeup, squeeze into the train, beat up the perverts on the train. The protagonist pointed to the time and said that even if she flew there by plane now, she would still be late. If she is late once, the fine will immediately cost her 300 bucks, which is almost equivalent to the cost of staying for a week. The guy points his thumbs down and says, you're very smart and what, so sit back and wait on. The sister had a natural beauty, the girl looks at her brother and asks him, she looks like she really needs makeup. Chin Ze, a little angry, advised her to get ready for work as soon as possible. While eating the omelette, the girl objected that she didn't have to go to work anymore because she quit it. The guy was shocked by his sister's statement, they need to pay for accommodation, and the girl carelessly drank a glass of milk. He looked at his sister and asked her when it had happened, as he couldn't believe what he had heard when his phone fell out of his hands. Looking at her brother, she said that she had quit her job the day before and wondered why she hadn't told him earlier. The blue-haired guy said that she hadn't mentioned it at all, but the girl said that there had been a lot of events yesterday, she forgot to tell him. My sister shrugged her shoulders and said that yesterday was an anniversary, there was a lot of planning and doing, so everything was fine. The main character pressed his sister against the wall, the girl was surprised by her brother's behavior, she did not understand what was happening. Chin Ze was very worried about his sister, he was very frightened, and asked the girl if she was okay, why she left her job. My brother started to think it was because of the boss who was harassing his sister or worse. The guy began to burn with rage, he could not even imagine what he would do to this man when he saw him. Chin Bao Bao looked at her brother in surprise, making it clear that the reason was simpler than it seemed at first glance. She grabbed his hand and told him it was a good excuse to tell his parents if they asked. The protagonist did not understand what his sister meant by this, so he looked at the girl in surprise while she smiled back at him. He realized that his sister simply did not want to work and there was no reason to quit. The brother, not understanding, asked his sister what she wanted, so that he could help her keep it all a secret. The guy began to list all the advantages of the job at which his sister worked, many people would have been killed for such work, the brother asked again why she suddenly resigned. He understood that you can't live in the air alone, you need food and water, where to get them if they don't have money. His sister, teasing his brother, told him that she would rely on him, she was waiting for him to feed her. The brother began to shrug it off, he didn't understand it was some kind of joke, the sister looked at him with a kind look. The guy objected, how could he feed her, if he was still studying, could sell him his kidneys or liver. The father still brags modestly to his relatives, he was very happy, but he looked like he didn't care. Chin Ze went on to say that the father is very proud of his daughter, because she has entered the top 500 companies in the world. The student decided to put pressure on his sister's conscience and asked how her father would explain himself now, she thought that her father would lose his face. The girl reached for a jar of peanut butter and said that her birthday was yesterday and that she had realized something as she got older. She took the knife and said that she realized how quickly time flies, her emotions at that moment were pure, expressing her reflections. Spreading peanut butter on bread toast, she said that she was getting old and could soon be 30 years old, she was very worried, if nothing changed, it would be very bad. Chin Bao Bao can't waste her youth on a company that is in the top 500, she wants something more. The girl wanted to get rid of the chain and try new ideas, and for that you need to be brave. My sister wants to follow her dreams, not go with the flow, which is why she quit her job. The guy with a smirk decided to make a joke and said that she meant the dream hunter aunt, sooner or later she would be as old as her grandmother. A relative did not appreciate the joke of the protagonist and asked if he wanted to die, she is still a young girl, the main character frightenedly began to repeat that she is a young girl. The protagonist began to feel awkward and interested, he began to recall various events and moments from the past. Chin Ze jumped away from his sister, not understanding what she was going to do, feeling a mixed sense of bewilderment and concern. She slammed her chair and said she wanted to be a superstar and win a lot of awards. The girl wants to be an idol, a real goddess, she began to laugh, the main character knew that everything would come to this. The blue-haired guy remembered that when his sister was in middle school, her classmates laughed at her name. My sister was surrounded by her classmates, her name translated as baby, so everyone teased her. She secretly took the ledger to change her name, but at the police station, she was asked why she wanted to change her name. The girl replied that she did not like her name, there was no reason to change her name, and since her parents did not accompany her, 
she was not allowed to change it. After that, the policeman called the girl's parents, the father arrived, took her by the ear and said that she thought so simply and carelessly to change her name. Now, when the guy thinks about it, it's happening for the first time, the parents work together to discipline the sister. After she became a high school student, the girl became very good at deceiving people, her personality was very different from her appearance, and she was being chased by someone. An unfamiliar man ran up and told the little girl to wait, she turned around to see who it was. The man asked her to become a superstar, pointing to a brochure with stars, he was trying to cheer her up, as well as inspire her to new exciting achievements. The girl was very happy and it is clear that she is interested in the offer, showing interest and desire to try something new and exciting. The blonde stranger told his sister to touch his face, and she obeyed. The man with the blonde hair asked the girl if she didn't feel it, appealing to her inner feelings. He began to praise the girl's beauty, giving her many compliments, she looked at him with a sparkle in her eyes and could not believe that all this he was saying about her. But the man said that you guys are fighting against the sun and the earth, so it takes a lot of effort for you to become stars. The stranger went on to talk about how this world is not fair and there are very bad people in it, maybe they are trying to trick you and ask you to do bad things, but the girl needs to come to her senses. When her parents locked her sister in a room, she was furious, the girl said things that her parents did not like very much. But the relatives didn't care, they just wanted to raise her to be a diligent girl, the relatives were furious that she didn't want to obey. Her parents burst into the girl's room to beat the crap out of her, expressing their displeasure and disappointment at her behavior as well as her choices. The boy, drinking the juice, heard his sister resist, but could not do anything about it. If her brother hadn't stopped her, she would have chosen drama school, he restrained her with all his might so that her sister would not go there. Thinking about it, he came to his senses and collected his thoughts, he did not expect this from a girl, so many years had passed and she had not stopped thinking about it. My brother started saying that it's not good to be a superstar, it's only great on the surface, it's actually filled with hard work and regrets. He wondered if she could become a superstar in just two years, expressing his doubts and surprise at the realism of her goals. Chin Bao Bao said with a smirk and a little embarrassed whether her name would spread all over the world. The guy was surprised by the girl's words and even believed a little in his sister, beginning to realize her potential and determination to achieve her goal. But the brother was still against it and decided to play a joke on the sister by telling her that she could be a mushroom, people would just bury the girl in the ground. And the sister in response began to mischievous, saying that she would not be a mushroom, the brother could not stand at it and watch it was beyond his strength. Chin Zhe thought that this was too much for him, so he took out his mobile phone and better call his parents and then tell them everything. The girl, attentively observing her brother's actions, suddenly realized that he was going to call his parents. Excitement seized her, she could not remain silent, so she asked the guy to wait with a decision. The danger of the moment pushed the girl to decisive action, she instantly decided to act, rapidly approaching the guy to take the phone away from him. The protagonist was amazed by the unexpected action of the girl, there was no thought in his mind that she would immediately run to him. Without wasting a second, she rushed forward to get to the guy, but did not take into account the speed of her run and suddenly lost her balance, causing her to clumsily fall right on top of him, grabbing his arms, her brother did not understand what she was doing. The girl, addressing her brother, spoke the words with a pleading voice, insisting that he not call her father. The sudden thought that her father might find out what was happening made her feel of fear and anxiety, and she knew that if her relatives found out, they would beat her. The brother replied that he was not sure if the girl would be beaten by her father if he found out about the situation, but stressed that if he did not tell, there would be problems. He hit his sister, saying that he would be beaten for it if he did not tell his parents about the situation. Chin Bao Bao insisted that he not call his father, but her brother was more insistent and told her not to be crazy. The student took his mobile phone and the words, Dad, were written on it, his main mission was to prevent his sister from making rash decisions. But he heard a voice that said that he should help his sister, if he was lucky, he would get 300 points, and if he was unlucky, 100 would be deducted. The sudden and unexpected situation surprised him a little, he was confused, not knowing what to do. The brother did not understand what was happening, Perhaps he was in a state close to sleep, or because of fatigue, stress, or other factors why he was hearing these voices.
The sister took advantage of the moment and snatched the phone from the boy's hands, glad that nothing had changed. The blue-haired guy yelled at her to give him the phone, but her sister insisted on refusing to do so. The girl only playfully stuck out her tongue, showing by her appearance that she would definitely not give up the phone. The protagonist, looking at his sister, he decided to remain silent and do nothing. In his head, he did not understand how to make his sister forget about this impossible dream, she is very stubborn and only relatives can stop her. Her brother stood up and hesitantly said that if she didn't hand over the phone, she shouldn't blame him for what happened next. The guy said that she would not be able to defeat him as she was weak and would not be able to stand up to her brother in terms of strength. She looked at the guy and asked if she really couldn't beat him. Smiling, the girl took her mobile phone and put it right between her chest so that her brother would definitely not be able to get it out of there. The beauty, taunting the guy, said, come to me then, if you have the courage to pull out your phone. If Qin Ze only tried to do this, she would tell her father everything, and the young man would immediately laugh and disappear. Thinking about how he would take out the phone, he did not understand how he would get out of this situation, everything was not in his favor. The brother began to calm his sister down so that they could just sit down and talk, but the beauty was categorically against it. The blue-haired guy nervously shrugged his shoulders and said that if his sister had dreams, he just wanted to support her. The student began to tell the girl that she did not try to pursue her dream in the best period of time, she was already 25 too late. The sister was angry and did not understand why her brother wanted to talk her out of it so insistently, she believed that 25 years was not too late. Qin Ze said that she could not act like a young girl, at her age, her sister did not have the necessary skills to become a star. The blue-haired guy asked his sister with a slight smirk if she could rap or defeat Liuqiu. The sister was a little disheartened by her brother's words and thought a little about her career as a superstar. Brother asked if she could dance better than Ng Sin she replied that of course she couldn't, then the guy said if she couldn't do it, how was she going to become popular? The protagonist decided to improve the situation a little, joking that she could only rely on striptease then. A student asked her sister if she wanted her privacy invaded every day and to be filmed with these dirty fat old men, the beauty was frightened by her brother's words. The guy shrugged his shoulders and confidently said that a superstar is a place where fame and money are earned, who doesn't want to be famous. The brother added that this is a place where you fight millions personally, but the sister interrupted her brother and said that she easily scores high points, it will not be difficult for her. Qin Zhe reminded her that this is reality, let her face the truth, grades will not help the girl, the main thing is acting skills and skills, whether she will be able to surpass those people who have been training for years to achieve results. Pointing his finger, the brother says that his sister is already 25 years old, and she is acting very childish when the girl begins to think. Showing a slight playfulness, the beauty with a hint of her beauty, confidently declares her attractiveness. But then the brother says that there are many beautiful guys and girls in the world, she cannot compare with them. The guy doesn't understand why she is so confident that she can rely on her beauty and easily become a celebrity, the girl, looking down, is confused about how to react correctly to her brother's words. A mysterious voice interrupted their conversation and addressed the protagonist, he informed them that they were mistaken. The voice said that in another parallel dimension, actors and actresses don't have acting skills at all, a pretty face is all you need to succeed. The blue-haired boy, feeling confused and bewildered, looked around, hoping to find the source of the sound, and suddenly shouted who it was. The sister didn't understand what was happening to his brother, she thought the guy was crazy. Immediately, a voice rang out in his brother's head, telling him not to be nervous, an intelligent system was talking to him, traveling everywhere. An unfamiliar voice has been to many different times and spaces, the main character was shocked by what he heard. He was transported to an unknown location where the guy was completely powerless, a mysterious voice said that it lives in his brain. Being in this space, the brother thought for a second, he completely lost touch with reality. The blue-haired guy, not knowing what to do, asked what was living in his brain, what should he do now? The protagonist just decided to relax and listen to the mysterious voice that was coming from all directions, he said that it was difficult for a three-dimensional creature to understand his definitions. The voice stated that he was like a magic weapon that could change the rules when the situation was not in favor of the hero, the guy immediately understood everything. Once near his sister, the protagonist felt relieved and safe. The beauty, not understanding her brother, 
asked what nonsense he was talking and why he was talking to himself. She leaned over to the blue-haired guy and looked at him incomprehensibly, her brother a little confused, not knowing what to say. The guy decided to cheer up his sister a little and said that he needed to go to the hospital to have brain surgery, he would be back now. Qin Ze immediately ran to the exit, the girl did not understand what was happening to her brother, because he needed a phone. Realizing that he had suddenly run to his sister, the protagonist felt a strange feeling that did not allow him to run out into the street, something stopped him. Qin Bao Bao watched her brother and didn't understand what was happening to him, the girl had a lot of questions for him, but the guy himself didn't understand what was happening. Lying down on the couch, the man realized that he needed some time to analyze his feelings and thoughts. Holding her brother's phone, the beauty decided to clarify the situation by asking him what was happening to him. The girl came down and approached the guy, after which she asked him what trick he was up to this time. The brother asked his sister to help him, the guy urgently needed an ambulance, he was experiencing serious problems and could not cope on his own. The beauty anxiously put her hand on her brother's head and asked him what was happening to him. As soon as the man got up and wanted to tell his sister everything, something stopped him, he couldn't continue talking. A relative touched his face, and he said that everything was fine, it was not his words. The protagonist felt stunned and confused, the guy couldn't understand why he didn't say what he wanted. The blue-haired guy was transported to another dimension again, he was very angry and didn't understand what was controlling him, the guy could no longer distinguish reality from fiction. The voice began to calm the guy down, telling him that he was behaving the same as his previous masters, he would get used to his existence, his brother needed to complete his tasks. A mysterious voice said that if the points turned out to be zero, then the main character would be erased, and the system would choose a new user, the guy was terrified by what he heard. The student told the system to leave him, but if he confirmed that the system had to leave his brain, it would suck all of the host's energy in return. The brother immediately showed a clear disagreement with this idea, his reaction was instantaneous and unyielding, as if he was rejecting the proposal on an intuitive level, without wasting time on reflection. He asked the system, pointing his finger at himself, what would happen to him if all the energy was sucked out of his body. The voice said that the guy would become a vegetable, incapable of actions and decisions, these words pierced the atmosphere like a winter wind, causing the protagonist to freeze in horror. The system asked again if the guy wanted her to leave his brain, the protagonist hit his chest and shouted that he loved the system with all his heart. The brother felt the tension begin to leave his body, and then he pulled himself together. The guy asks that after this conversation, the mysterious voice will definitely not eat his brain, the answer was yes, he was happy, but still did not know what to do. The protagonist woke up after hearing the words that he had to complete tasks in three hours, help his sister sign a contract with a large company so that she could become a superstar. Qin Ze was very motivated by the idea of helping his sister and asked the girl if she didn't want to go into show business, he was willing to help with advice. The sister was a little frightened by his brother's change, so the guy decided to help her, he added that he was ready to be a reliable support for the beauty. She looked at him with fear in her eyes, the girl's voice strained, reflecting her inner trembling. The quick-witted beauty, realizing that the situation required the immediate intervention of professionals, resolutely pulled out her phone, preparing to call an ambulance. The girl ran, telling the guy to be patient a little, the main character was scared for his life. As soon as the beauty started calling the ambulance, she saw the guy running straight towards her. The brother grabbed his sister and immediately took the phone right out of her hands, the girl was a little embarrassed by the guy's actions. The blue-haired guy told the beauty to stop behaving like this, he seriously wants to help her. The sister was angry at how her brother could behave like this, how dare he touch her, and at such a moment. The girl jumped on top of him, pressing her body against him, and told him to return the phone, her brother did not expect such a turn of events. The guy said that they should stop fooling around, they need to get down to business as quickly as possible, they don't have time for that. The beauty still wanted to take the phone away from him and tried to convince the guy to give it away, her brother agreed to her becoming a star. Qin Bao Bao was stunned by her brother's words, and at this moment, it dawned on her that the guy cared deeply about her dream. The sister, feeling mixed emotions, asked the guy seriously, do you really want this, her voice sounded gentle, but there was a genuine concern and a desire to understand his motives. 
The brother met his sister's gaze with confidence and replied that he was always honest in his words, his voice sounding resolute and calm. Under the influence of previous events and the possible unexpectedness of such a statement, the girl felt mixed emotions, including disbelief and bewilderment. The young man, seeing the bewilderment and doubts in the girl's eyes, maintained his seriousness and calmness, his expression did not change, his eyes reflected sincere determination. The sister was so pleased with her brother's determination that she wanted to kiss him, she knew that this man was the dearest in her life. The student, pushing the girl away, decided to get down to business, he remembered that he did not have as much time as it might seem at first glance. The brother said that the company was difficult to get into, it should be chosen not only because of its appearance. He scratched his head and decided to think for a while about how quickly his sister would be able to sign a contract with the company. Chin Bao Bao reassured her brother by saying that she had already made up everything and he only needed to keep his mouth shut, the young man was a little surprised by his sister's words. When the beauty was leaving, the boss asked her why, she told him the reason, the student still did not understand what she was leading to. The sister explained that it so happened that the boss had some kind of connection with Star Entertainment, so the main character had nothing to worry about. The girl will have an interview there today at 10 o'clock and it will be a very important moment in her life. The brother underestimated his sister, it turns out that she thought through everything and continued on the road to her dream, which is why the beauty did not want the guy to tell everything to his parents. The guy, smiling calmly and gently, touched the girl's face and told her that she had not changed at all. A little angry, the brother realized that the beauty had deceived him and was only waiting for the moment to draw him into it. The embarrassed sister confessed that she had put all her efforts into providing the best for herself and her brother. The brother suddenly realized that this path was not only wrong, but also dishonest to his sister. He wondered for a moment if the guy didn't have the money, resources, or connections, like an ordinary student would help sign a contract with a big company. The blue-haired brother realized that this was not a coincidence, a mysterious voice that lives in his brain tried to work on it. The task is now much easier, in other words, the system wants him to complete his task and get points. From the outside, it was as if the newcomer who arrived at the first village had been given a mission to kill the demon queen. The trembling old man on the road expected feats from him, he hoped for a warrior, for he was the chosen one to fight hordes of enemies. But after looking at the old man, the protagonist threw out his sword and told him to look at his equipment, which one is the demon queen killer. Grandpa told him that the demon queen had one drop of blood left, and he just needed to finish her off and he would become a hero. Making a sharp gesture, snapping his fingers, he suddenly voiced his understanding, saying that this explained everything. The guy came back from his fantasies to reality and stopped his sister's hand from waving it in front of her face. The sister apologized to her brother, she just thought he had passed out again, so she tried to help him. The protagonist resolutely said that they need to get ready, they have an hour and a half, let the girl prepare her makeup and get dressed. The beauty stood up and decided to listen to her brother's advice so as not to be late for the interview. Looking at the girl, he was still worried, the guy was always worried about his sister. A little time passed, water dripped from the faucet into the sink, and the guy stood and waited for the beauty to prepare for the trip. Chin Bao Bao called the protagonist, he looked in the direction of the girl's room in surprise. She opened the door to show the guy something, while he watched what she wanted from him. My sister took two bras out the door and asked my brother which one he liked best. He got a little nervous and replied that he liked the one on top the most, because he was more detained. But the beauty liked the one below more. She asked her brother again, the guy got angry and told her to wear the lower one then. The girl stuck her leg out and asked which pantyhose would suit her best, she cared what her brother said. But my brother, getting angry, said that she was not going to work as a prostitute, let her dress normally. The beauty poked her head out and said that it was very important for her, because today is a very important day and she is nervous. The student ran to the door with a mobile phone, frightening his sister at the same time, and began to say that they had very little time, let them hurry, but the girl was not ready, because she had not decided what to wear. The guy threw open the door and said that he would choose her clothes himself, so let him stand still and be silent. He came into her and began to choose clothes, the brother did not understand how it was possible to wear such clothes, the sister even thought what the judges would tell her, the guy shouted immediately to take off her clothes, 
he would immediately choose something better for her. When the protagonist picked up clothes for his sister, he told her to put them on quickly, and that the beauty should hurry up, otherwise they would be late. Qin Zhe was a little tired of choosing clothes for his sister, but he thought it was quite good. The girl asked the protagonist what she looked like, wanting to hear his opinion about her appearance. The guy was surprised at how well this suit fit her, he could not believe his eyes, he had never seen a more beautiful girl. Her brother turned away a little embarrassed and replied that the costume suited her very well, trying to hide his embarrassment. Qin Bao Bao asked him why he turned away then, the guy was drenched in sweat because he didn't know how to express his emotions to her. The guy, a little confused with a smile on his face, replied that the girl now looks just amazing, he was already dizzy. My sister looked at her brother and thought that you would never expect a good sound from a barking dog. The girl quickly turned around and went to the exit, calling the main character to follow her. The student scratched his head and sighed in indignation that his sister hadn't even thanked him for what he had done for the girl. He decided to follow her to her car, putting his hands in his pockets, as his brother expected his sister to do well in the interview. There were a lot of cars in the parking lot, they got into their red car, started it and were ready to leave. The protagonist fastened his seatbelt, realizing that the first stage had already been completed, he could only hope for the best. The guy with sadness on his face thought a little, his sister quit such a good job, for the illusory dream of becoming a superstar. The girl saved money for six months, even took tens of thousands from her parents, she decided right now to buy herself a new car, than she only thought. But the protagonist's thoughts on this matter were interrupted by a heel that suddenly flew into his hands, he did not understand how to react to this. Glancing at his sister, he noticed how she was already in the car, happily taking off her shoes, as if it brought her relief and comfort. The student asked what she was doing, why she took off her shoes in the car, and the heels also smelled unpleasant. The girl did not understand the main character's question, and she bathed before leaving the house, where could the unpleasant smell come from? She stretched out her leg to the protagonist and told her brother to smell it, the guy shouted that he would not do it. Getting into the car, the beauty said that she was in a good mood today, so she would spare him. The sister stepped her bare foot on the gas pedal, and they quickly drove out of the parking lot to meet their dreams. The road was busy, all the people were in a hurry to work, trying to be on time despite this fuss, the bright sun was shining outside, creating a pleasant atmosphere and mood. The protagonist sat by the window, watching the bustle of the city, his gaze slid over the many cars and people hurrying somewhere on business. The guy thought about it and decided to ask what this thing was in his head, what it was all about. A voice out of nowhere replied that he was a system of cosmic calculus, the guy, not understanding, looked at it and told him to answer more clearly. A mysterious voice told the protagonist that his definitions are difficult to understand for sentient beings in a three-dimensional world. He said that he was created to calculate the universe, and an incredible view opened before the hero's eyes. But the student asked how it was possible to get into his head if he wasn't made for it. The system replied that it was all the usual luck of the protagonist, whose user it chooses in each space of time. Qin Zhe looked at it from the outside and replied that he didn't quite understand, but he thought it was terrible. An unknown voice replied that time and space are the greatest mysteries of the universe, time flows in the same direction, the universe is too big to have boundaries, there are many planets with intelligent life. His abilities are limited by space, so he travels to many places in time, every sentient being who became his user was the man of the hour. The guy thanked for the explanation and said that he was flattered, but then he asked the system if he could live forever like the heroes of the novels, the voice said that such a world existed and he was already in it. The protagonist was overjoyed and asked if he could cultivate and become immortal, after which the system replied that nothing in the world is permanent. The mysterious voice went on to say that the sun would disappear, and with it, the universe, including himself. The student was inspired by the idea of living as long as the sun itself, expressing his desire to live a full, fulfilling life and leave a mark on this world. But the system answered no, the formation of the world depends on many factors, each world is individual and everyone has its own laws, in the world in which they live, people do not have the opportunity to live for so long. My brother called the system useless because it couldn't make his dream come true. The mysterious voice didn't like the way the protagonist spoke about him, so he reminded him that all of his stats were average. 
The guy was a mediocre person according to his life path, his sister is much better and more beautiful than him, the student was a little hurt by this. His whole life would be mediocre, the protagonist felt desperate and fell to his knees, he couldn't believe it. But the system can change his life and destiny, make him more significant in this world, and that's why he needs it. The system informs that it's time for training, the brother must open the system interface. The main character began to turn his head in different directions and look for the switch, the guy did not understand where the interface was. The student shouted the system interface with all his might, waiting for it to appear to figure out the controls. A sign appeared in front of him, the guy was a little surprised, looking through his specifications, he noticed his photo. He had a strange feeling, but the protagonist decided to continue his studies and pressed the button on the list of tasks. A table with assignments, details, and a basic description opened in front of him, at the bottom were the percentages of completion of this task, so far the student had completed the tasks by 0%. The brother presses the back button to see what else is available to him, he notices the store and then clicks on it. But it turns out that the store is not yet available to him, the student decided to ask the system why the store is not available to him and what is sold in it. The system replied that the store had everything to help the guy reach the top of his life. The protagonist wondered if the store probably doesn't open because he doesn't have points, he was interested in getting points for tasks. The guy wanted to know what the task was, the system replied that the task was simple, but it could understand what he meant. The voice explained to the guy that there is no such thing as a free lunch, he has to work to get what he wants, if he wants to exchange points for things in the store, the student must complete the tasks of the system. The blue-haired guy said that the system should explain the conditions for completing the task. The student thought for a while and asked in a frightened way if the system could ask him to commit crimes. A mysterious voice decided to calm the guy down and told him that the conditions for forming the task are based on his state at the moment, it all depends on the people and events around the main character. Chin Zhe asked the system if he wanted to pester the girl if such a task was possible, the answer of the mysterious voice was yes. A relative grabbed his head and said that everyone has bad intentions, but not everyone realizes them. The system told a very important detail, in case of such tasks, they can be refused, but only in exchange for a part of the points, the student closed his eyes and began to think. Opening his eyes, the brother noticed a quest item written at the bottom of the tablet, he decided to ask what it was for, a mysterious voice explained that this item could help him. He wondered what item he could use to help his sister pass the interviews, and whether his points would decrease after receiving it. Immediately he felt someone tugging at his cheek, he didn't know what was happening or what to do. Chin Zhe came back to reality and noticed that his sister was pulling the boy's cheek, asking him what he was doing. They were standing at a traffic light, the brother decided to play a joke on his sister and said that everything was wrong with his head. Pointing to the road, the student told his sister to watch the road instead of watching him. The sister, understanding her brother, said that it was better to hand him over to an insane asylum, the conversation was interrupted by the phrase what. The student asks in surprise what she wanted to say after these words. The beauty looked very sadly into the distance, as if trying to find answers to her inner questions. The protagonist pondered, looking at the girl, trying to unravel the mysteries of her sad look and find a way to support her. The blue-haired young man remembered that his sister Chin Bao Bao had been beautiful all her youth, she had been the first beauty in school and had received many love letters. Why did the blue-haired boy look so ordinary compared to her? These thoughts haunted him. The guy thought that there was no point in it, it was contrary to the laws of genetics, he was always worried that he was worse than his sister. While the main character was thinking about various topics, the girl was already approaching the headquarters of Star Entertainment, which was one of the ten largest entertainment companies in the country. The student, looking out the window of the car, was surprised by the scale of the company, he could not believe that the girl would be able to work here. This company has a lot of contracts with artists, most of them are very famous around the world, they have a lot of capital, and there are always a lot of people at the main casting building. The beauty had an idea of how to easily park the car, she abruptly twisted the steering wheel to the left side. The protagonist hit the windshield of the car, not understanding why his sister did this. Smiling, the girl said that it was a great drift, immediately after that she took off her safety belt. My brother looked at his sister and remembered that she got her license in high school and has been driving for five or six years. 
Even when he was a child, Chin Bao Bao boasted to the protagonist, showing him her rights to the car. When the guy was still in school, his sister decided to take him for a car ride on the weekend for almost the whole day, and then, the sister deceived her brother by pretending to be rich in order to defraud him of a large sum of money. Chin Ze could only sit across from the girl and be hated by the other men. The blue-haired guy came to his senses and sighed and said that he always thinks only about the bad, it's time to think positively. But his words were interrupted by the leg of the beauty, the main character was very surprised by such an act of his sister. He turned away and told the girl to stop doing it because he would be very angry with her. The beauty playfully told him to put shoes on her foot and called him a fool. The guy was a little bewildered by what was happening, he looked at his sister and wanted to say what he thought. Her brother got angry and asked why he should dress her, let her do it herself, a grown girl. The sister playfully waved her leg in front of the student, trying to get his attention and express her playfulness. Smiling, she said, think about who has supported her brother in recent years, and then determine the tone of voice. The girl's words hurt the student, and he felt ashamed of what he had said, realizing that his words might have been hurtful or inappropriate. The guy resolutely took his sister's leg in his hands, showing care and determination in this situation. Chin Bao Bao was embarrassed by her brother's unexpected action, she only wanted to play a joke on him, and he took her words seriously. The girl told the guy to touch her legs more gently, because her sister has sensitive legs. My brother said that if she kicked like that, the guy wouldn't be able to put shoes on her beautiful feet. The student put shoes on his sister's feet, the girl was very happy, and then got out of the car. The blue-haired guy pulled his phone out of his pocket to see how much time he had left before completing his task. It was 9.29 a.m. on his mobile phone, and the guy had two hours left until the end of the task. Turning his head in the direction of the beauty, he announced that they were ready to leave for the interview. The sister followed her brother, her hair swaying in the wind, and the girl's face was pure joy and a smile. Chin Ze looked at the girl's expression, feeling her desire and complete self-confidence. Together, they stepped to the threshold that led to the exciting and multifaceted world of show business, where the sparkling lights of the stage and the atmosphere of opportunity awaited them, as if calling to new adventures and challenges. When the siblings entered the building, they found many shining stars and ambitious people striving to succeed in this difficult field. The room was full of life, a lot of rich and seemingly strict people filled the space with an atmosphere of ambition and entrepreneurship. The protagonist felt as if he was out of place among this multitude of people, whose outward indicators of wealth and power seemed unattainable to him. He looked around, trying to find people who looked even a little like him, but he didn't find any. A man in an ornate tuxedo caught his brother's attention, making him feel excited and curious about this mysterious stranger. The brother looked at his outfit and felt that his clothes seemed to stand out from the general atmosphere, not fitting in with the local style and elegance that was present around him. But his contemplation of his clothes was interrupted when his brother's attention was attracted by his sister, who entered into conversation. Chin Bao Bao told him to straighten up and follow her, because he was following a real beauty. The beauty of the sister was so breathtaking that it attracted the attention of everyone present, making them turn and look in surprise in her direction. The smile did not leave the face of the main character, he was simply fascinated by the confidence of the young lady. The sister went to the reception desk and asked where the place was to interview the artists. The worker said that the place they were looking for was on the seventh floor of the building in the second conference room. The relative thanked for the help with a heartfelt smile and sincere words of gratitude. A lot of people crowded around the elevator, creating a sense of lively atmosphere and filling the space with the noise of conversation. The lively crowd entered the elevator, the guy joined the crowd and decided to go along with the others. But suddenly, someone's hand grabbed the protagonist's wrist tightly, forcing the guy to turn around. The one who grabbed his hand turned out to be his sister, and he was bewildered by what she did, not understanding why she would do it. The girl looked at her brother, not understanding the reason for his rush to the elevator, and shrugged her shoulders a little in surprise, waiting for an explanation. Chin Ze asked why they didn't go to the elevator, expressing his surprise and desire to understand the reason for the sudden change in the lady's mood. She whispered softly in the guy's ear that there were too many people in the elevator in case someone started pestering her. The guy was angry at this, he asked who in a friend would think of molesting her, especially in such a place. The protagonist looked at his sister and suddenly remembered something important that made him freeze in place, 
memories taking over his thoughts. When my sister was still in school, a man on the bus grabbed her ass. At that time, he was still a junior in high school, the girl was calmly driving home, enjoying the music, and serenity reigned around her. Suddenly, a man approached her from behind, whose actions had become unacceptable, and he began to harass her. But the sister was not confused, she turned around and hit the man between the legs with all her might. After that, the girl got off the bus and walked home, after which she never used the bus again. The guy came back from his thoughts to reality when one of the men in the elevator asked him if he was going to ride with them. The brother turned around, looked at the man and made it clear that he was not going to go with them, after which he apologized to the people in the elevator. The sister was genuinely glad that her brother remembered what had happened. They waited for the elevator and went up to the seventh floor, the relatives approached the employee sitting at the administrative desk. Chin Bao Bao was given a number by which she would perform in front of people, and this made her even more excited and ready to make a good impression. A cute girl with a smile shared information with them about where their place was. The sister thanked him for the information and went with her brother to the conference room. She hugged the protagonist's hand, expressing her support and gratitude for his presence and attention. Chin Ze, feeling a little anxious about his sister's behavior, gently asked her to let go of his hand. In the conference room, different people were preparing to perform in front of the jury, filling the atmosphere with anticipation and tension. In the audience, some focused on themselves, preparing to go on stage, while others diligently memorized their speeches, trying to memorize every word of the text. The guy looked at what was happening in amazement and admired the efforts of people who prepared for the performances with such enthusiasm and dedication. The relatives were noticed by a girl who was attracted by their appearance and their laid-back behavior. The girl decided to go up to them and start a conversation or say hello, she had pieces of paper in her hands. Coming closer, the guy noticed the beauty of this girl, who attracted his attention with her appearance. The brother decided to say hello to this girl and get her attention so that he could start chatting. Despite trying to strike up a conversation, the girl ignored the student and approached his sister. The girl turned to a relative with a request to give her a resume and a number sheet, which caused some bewilderment and disappointment in her brother. Chin Bao Bao replied in the affirmative and began to search her bag for the necessary documents. The woman looked through the documents and said that the protagonist's sister was on the list of participants. The worker advised them to wait a little while until it was time to participate in the event. The guy scratched his head and agreed with the woman, confirming that they would be waiting for their turn. The worker didn't seem interested in communicating with the protagonist, so she ignored him again. The brother decided to sit on the couch, feeling some disappointment at the woman's attitude towards him. Chin Ze said with a broken heart that he was overwhelmed with sadness, he felt worthless in this situation. The sister laughed a little and asked why he was sad, the brother replied that the woman didn't even look at him. The girl playfully replied that it meant that she had good eyesight, because she could tell at a glance who the star was. The protagonist nudged his sister with his finger, hinting that he was not in the mood for jokes and trying to attract her attention to him. The frightened girl felt a sudden tension after the protagonist nudged her with a finger. Chin Bao Bao felt embarrassed and insecure, not understanding the reason for the boy's behavior, so she demanded an explanation. The brother decided to do this, because the girl was very relaxed, now a little seriousness would not hurt and told her to prepare, because competitors are no worse than a beauty. But the girl got angry and resolutely grabbed the protagonist by the cheeks, expressing her dissatisfaction with his behavior. The beauty looked at her brother, a little suspicious of something, and asked why he was so nervous about her interview. The protagonist said that if she doesn't pass the interview, then his assignments will fail, which makes him very nervous. The guy felt the eyes of others directed at them and felt uncomfortable that the situation had become noticeable to others, so he told the girl about it. The girl let go of the guy and turned around to confirm her brother's words. The whole hall watched with interest what was happening between them, because their relationship was very nice. Chin Bao Bao turned around and said hello to everyone, trying to defuse the tense situation and normalize the situation. All the guys, seeing the girl, immediately paid attention to her beauty, which instantly amazed them. The women behind the couch immediately began to gossip about how she flirted with everyone. They thought that the girl had come with her boyfriend, and apparently she had very bad taste, because the guy didn't stand out in any way. The brother said that my sister would get so angry with all the women as she was going to continue to communicate with her colleagues. 
The girl replied with a smile that she was already used to this, demonstrating her confidence and calmness in this situation. With a shake of his head, the student replied that she might be used to the attention, but he wasn't. The boy, a little despondent, told his sister that no one would ever look at him, he was like bamboo, and his sister was like a panda, but even bamboo has dignity. The girl took the protagonist's hand, expressing her sympathy and support in this situation. His sister looked into his eyes with a smile, and the guy was surprised that she decided to support him at that moment. But as soon as the brother relaxed, the girl grabbed his hand and bit him, the guy did not know how to react to this, so he began to scream. The student got angry and asked her if she had lost her mind by making such a decision, then she even thought. Chin Bao Bao stuck out her tongue and said that pandas eat bamboo in an attempt to relieve tension and add a bit of humor to the environment. The brother, not knowing how to respond, preferred to remain silent, feeling a little insecure in the situation. The guy grabbed the girl's head and told her to look at the people around them, trying to draw her attention to the surroundings. Relatives noticed three people who were talking about something, the main character told her that they looked nice and serious, after which he added that they were getting ready and his sister should also prepare. The beauty straightened her hair and replied that even if she didn't succeed, she could go to another company. My sister learned that there are many ways for these companies to attract new people, as well as many ways for ordinary people to become stars, and quite a variety of shows. The guy understood, he came, she doesn't care about it at all, he urgently needs to act, because of a failed task, he will become a vegetable. The student grabbed the girl's hand and looked her straight in the eyes, the sister did not expect such pressure from her brother. He decided to tell her not to dare to think so, the beauty should take every opportunity very seriously. The protagonist became more insistent with each passing minute, he explained that the girl had to give it her all, after which he decided to ask if she understood him. Chin Bao Bao was completely confused and felt insecure, with no clear answer to her younger brother's words. Their conversation was interrupted by the voice of a girl who called out to one of the visitors named Wang Lihong. The fair-haired man stood up and walked over to the woman who was calling him, he was told that he could pass. As the man walked through the door, a girl with ponytails came out, expressing her sadness or sorrow, which attracted the attention of those around her. The girl slowed down a bit, apparently gathering her thoughts and her behavior implied that she might cry. This was noticed by people who were preparing for the interview, paying attention to the emotional state of the girl. People began to surround her with questions asking if she had passed, expressing their curiosity and interest. People were interested in what specific questions she was asked in the interview to understand how difficult it would be for them to answer. The stranger began to cry, she was told that she did not know how to sing and did not learn it, she did not meet the requirements. Afterward, the girl ran away in tears, feeling emotionally unprepared to discuss the results of the interview or the questions she was asked. The brother and sister looked at each other and this caused additional anxiety in the boy, who became even more nervous. But the sister decided to cheer up her brother by asking the guy why he was looking like that, because she had been preparing for this for a long time. The girl's conversation is interrupted by an unfamiliar voice coming from the crowd, which greets her. The relatives began to look in the direction of the sound, trying to determine who he was and what he wanted from the girl. A red-haired guy stood in front of them, holding out his hand as a sign of introduction, he introduced himself, his name was Go Dai. Smiling, the sister greeted him back, maintaining a positive atmosphere and reciprocating his introduction to them. A little embarrassed, the guy was fascinated by the girl's beauty, showing admiration for her appearance and shapes. Go Dai sat down next to the beauty and decided to ask her if she had also come to the interview, showing interest in the lady's goals. The sister smiled and replied that yes, she had come here for an interview, confirming her participation in the event. The red-haired man said that she looked great, so she would definitely be hired in the future and they would become colleagues. The stranger decided to ask the beauty if she would like to have a snack and chat somewhere, showing interest in more informal communication. The girl looked at the guy, a little confused by his proposal, not expecting this and not knowing how to react to him correctly. Putting her hand to her face, she decided to think about his proposal for a moment, considering her options and her feelings about it. Go Dai was still looking at her with a smile, showing his friendliness and waiting for her to respond to the proposal. But Chin Bao Bao grabbed her brother's hand and said to him, Honey, let's order spicy soup for lunch, 
the red-haired man was shocked by what he saw. The blue-haired guy immediately understood what his sister was trying to achieve and decided to keep up the conversation by replying, okay, just don't eat a lot, otherwise the beauty has become a little chubby. The relative, playing along, began to gently beat him with her fist, then replied that this was not true and that she still had a slender figure, as she took good care of her body. The sister squeezed the student's stomach and whispered in his ear that he was peeping at her, how did the brother know that she had gotten fat, but the main character replied no, if this man found out that the girl was getting fat, he would lose interest in her. Go Dai sat there and didn't understand what was happening, he wanted to get away from this situation as soon as possible, feeling awkward and unpleasant. The beauty turned to the man and asked if he needed anything else, showing interest and willingness to answer his questions. The stranger, feeling awkward and as if out of place in their company, decided to leave and apologize to the beauty, thus showing his manners and respect for her personal space. The girl was relieved when the man left because she didn't want to make new connections and relationships. The young man felt sorry for the stranger, and then he sighed heavily, showing his sympathy for his awkward situation, which he accidentally found himself in. The brother decided to tell his sister not to always use the same method, and to come up with something different next time. Their conversation was interrupted by the voice of a woman who called Chin Bao Bao for an interview, which made the beauty become more serious. She got up from the couch and prepared to go to the woman, after which, proceed to the interview, the student had never seen his sister so serious. The strange woman waited with a smile for her sister to come to her, preparing to greet her. But the beauty was very tense at that moment, all the thoughts in her head were confused, she was worried about her future. Qin Zhe noticed how worried his sister was, so he decided to support his elder sister, he told the girl to relax, the main thing is to believe in herself and her strength. The girl shouted that she would succeed, showing determination and confidence in her abilities before the important event. The blue-haired guy also stood up and started shouting that she would succeed, showing his support and faith in his sister's success at this important moment. As soon as the brother told his sister to go and show them himself, the girl kissed him on the cheek, expressing her gratitude and appreciation for the support. Qin Bao Bao threw the bag into the protagonist's hands and left, focusing on her upcoming interview and leaving the guy thinking about what had just happened. The lady gave a thumbs up and said to wait for good news, leaving hope for a successful outcome. After this, the blue-haired guy was embarrassed, but at the same time, he felt proud of his older sister when he saw her determination. The protagonist was aware that it was important to stay calm and collect his thoughts, in this exciting moment, he took a deep breath and reminded himself of the importance of believing in his sister's success. The girl walked confidently down the hallway behind the woman, who led her to the door where the interviews of future superstars were taking place. When the beauty walked through the door, she saw a lot of people discussing something at their table. One of the members of the commission noticed a girl who came in to them, paying attention to her appearance and preparedness for the interview. Her affable and friendly manner of communication with the woman created a pleasant atmosphere in the hall. All men liked the appearance of the girl, attractiveness and well-groomed caused positive emotions and admiration among the members of the commission. Women were ill-disposed towards the beauty, due to some jealousy and a sense of inequality. The eldest sister looked at the people at the table in surprise, noticing their unexpected reactions. The men watched the girl intently, marveling at her shape and appearance. Qin Bao Bao was a little confused, and the thought immediately came to her mind that there were only old goats sitting on the commission. The beauty remembered a conversation with her younger brother, who asked her how to understand whether a good guy or a bad guy was standing in front of her. The sister did not know what to say, so she asked how to do it, the relative said that it was very simple, if the guy was bad, then he would only look at the girl's figure, and the good one would pay attention to her face. The girl, smiling, asked the protagonist if he was a bad guy or a good guy, but her brother replied that it was none of her business. Expressing her sincere emotions, the beauty, covering her mouth with her hand, replied, so you are one of such innocent guys. Her brother didn't understand why she thought so, he had a wealth of experience, which is why he had such a wealth of theoretical experience. The elder sister decided to move closer to the table in order to take a closer look at the members of the commission and better hear their questions or comments. Men were positively disposed to communicate with the girl and showed interest in her candidacy. She was very nervous and tried to distract herself by thinking only about her dream. 
Qin Bao Bao bowed as a sign of respect to the members of the commission, greeted them, and introduced herself to them. The old woman replied that it was not necessary to introduce herself, they already had her resume, so let her sit down. The girl looked indignantly at the woman in front of her and sat down on a chair to listen to the commissioner's questions. Men and women prepared to ask questions of the beauty while she sat on a chair. An old pervert sitting across from the girl looked at her legs and admired them. The elderly people decided to check the information and clarify, the beauty was a graduate of Fudan University, after which she became an assistant to the president of one of the 500 largest corporations in the world, the girl answered that everything was correct. One of the members of the commission asked the girl why she decided to go into show business with such a good resume. My sister smiled and replied that it was her dream, and that was why she was here. The stranger was a little shocked by what he heard and reacted positively to this answer, so he stopped asking questions. An elderly woman sitting across from the man asked the girl how big this dream was for her. The man looked at the woman in surprise, not understanding why she had asked this strange question. One of the members of the commission said that they were very pleased with the girl's appearance and education. Qin Bao Bao, covering her mouth with her hands, didn't expect such a response from a man, so she was a little shocked by this statement. But the old man replied that they hadn't signed a contract with her yet, so she had to take the matter very seriously. He added that acting takes about 10 years to learn, she can't learn it overnight and perform on stage, if they spend money on new stars, then they need high-quality people with great potential. The girl began to tremble a little, it occurred to her that this was a bad start for her career, she wondered if she would not succeed. The beauty quickly got up from her chair and shouted that many stars had not prepared for this either. The stranger stared intently at the protagonist's breasts and could not take his eyes off her. One of the members of the commission noticed that the man was not behaving very civilly, so he hinted to him to stop immediately. Taking the hint, he no longer behaved inappropriately towards the beauty. After that, the stranger told the girl that there would be no profit without pain, she at least had an idea of how many years the stars had to work for their work to pay off. The sister doubted herself and her words, she did not know what to say to what was said, so she preferred to sit and listen to the man. One of the members of the commission, smiling, told her not to be sad, he needed a secretary now to establish work in the company. An elderly man offered her to work for him because the beauty had work experience and graduated from a prestigious university, right now they can talk about the salary. Qin Bao Bao was very angry, again she was offered to be a secretary, in all the jobs where she submitted her resume, the main character was offered to be her. She wants to become a star, and she is offered to be a secretary again, her hands were squeezing her skirt, the main character could not sit still. As she watched the behavior of all these people, she felt as if they were conspiring against her, and her rage boiled within her. The girl relaxed a little and the anger receded, she asked if a member of the commission could tell me his name and department. Rubbing his hands, the man said that his last name was Zhang, he was the general manager of the human resources department here. The main character understood that this fat old man was an ordinary pervert, first he would praise her, and then humiliate her, after which he would offer to work for him. The beauty confidently said that she was not interested, she studied dancing in elementary school and middle school. The sister stressed that she had excellent musical abilities and that she sang well. A seated woman invited the protagonist to sing, young men dressed in blue to test her skills. The girl did not expect that this particular song she would be forced to sing in the audience, because it was very difficult for a beginner. The elderly woman said that young people must adapt to any difficult situations, otherwise they can embarrass themselves. The main character replied that she would sing this song now, one of the members of the commission expected the complete failure of the girl. Rising from her chair, the girl took a deep breath and prepared to start singing the song, she felt strong and confident, ready to make a good impression on the elderly with her talent. When the girl began to sing, her gentle, angelic voice echoed throughout the hall, the song was performed even better than the original. The admiration of the members of the commission was reflected in their looks, they were very surprised when they listened attentively to her voice. The plump man could not restrain himself and said that the girl had a very soft voice, similar to the sounds of nature, it captured his soul in an instant. The stranger in glasses remembered the time when she was still young and this brought back very positive memories for the woman. The man in glasses said that he liked the changeability in the voice of the main character very much. 
All the members of the commission came to the conclusion that a girl could have such a charming voice. The beauty looked at the people who were fascinated by her voice, she realized that they liked it very much, the girl began to continue the song. The elderly woman was unhappy with this outcome, she thought that the girl came here without much talent, there were many mistakes in her song, but her voice was excellent. If she went on like this, she could become a new star, but the woman couldn't let that happen, she had to come up with something. She saw that all the members of the commission were already on the side of the beauty, she had to stop her singing. The woman slammed the table with all her strength and told the girl to stop singing, she had heard enough. The sister was very surprised and stopped singing, she was shocked by the behavior of this old woman. All the members of the commission did not understand why the woman did this, because everyone really liked the girl's singing. The stranger said that the main character was just a disgrace, her amateur singing would not be able to pass an internal audit. The main character was angry at the woman's words, she wanted to immediately say everything she thought, but decided to remain silent. The man asked the girl that, according to her resume, in high school, the beauty was sought after by a talent search specialist, and also in their work, the main thing is age. A member of the commission said that the main character is already 25 years old, she is quite old for show business, if it is not a girl group like MM48. The plump man explained with sadness in his eyes that they didn't have any plans for girls like her right now. Chin Baobao was very upset by the general manager of the company, she couldn't understand why things were going this way. The old man said that if a person doesn't have a talent that can attract attention, they are not going to waste resources on such an artist. The man who was sitting next to him adjusted his glasses and said that when choosing artists, they focus on professionalism, if a person has talent or acting skills, age is not a problem. One of the members of the commission said that if there is no talent and acting abilities, first they look at age, because young people are very popular, they hinted that the problem of a girl is age. The main character was a little offended by the words of the men and continued to stand listening to what they would offer her next. The woman said that dancing in high school is not a talent, a beauty will not be able to do the splits, for example, like her daughter. The members of the commission began to discuss something among themselves while the girl stood and looked at them. Chin Bao Bao was very angry again, she tried to calm herself down by saying that they were not worthy of her wrath, she couldn't miss such an opportunity. The girl said that she knew how to write songs, suddenly there was silence in the whole hall and all the members of the commission began to look at the main character. The beauty smiled, letting everyone know that she was confident in her abilities and creativity. The man raised his hand and asked if they could listen to her creation now. The sister smiled, and then answered, of course, after which she asked if she could go to the bathroom first. The woman was a little annoyed and asked the girl if she had any idea where she was, how dare she go to the toilet during the interview. Mrs. May shouted for the protagonist to show at least a modicum of respect and reverence for such an important interview. The elderly woman was interrupted by a man who explained that the girl was very worried, all people had such experiences, so they should understand the youth. A member of the commission replied positively and reminded that it was lunch time, and the main character was told to come later. The girl bowed as a sign of respect and thanked them for listening, which was very important to her. As soon as the man waved his hand and tried to comfort the girl, he found that she had already run away. The old man scratched his head and decided to listen to other people's opinions about the main character. The man in glasses said they need to be honest, she's really good, the girl can definitely become a superstar. An old woman in glasses replied that the appearance and figure of the main character suit them, but appearance alone is not enough. A red-haired woman said beautiful girls in their time think the world revolves around them as they have not experienced setbacks. The elderly lady also mentioned her niece, a very hard-working and reserved girl who has to come to the interviews in the afternoon. The man gave a thumbs up and hoped for Mrs. May, he had high hopes for her niece. The woman said that the girl entered the theater academy on her own, soon her niece should win the last D-level contract and she would be proud of her. An elderly lady cannot let the main character steal the contract from her relative, the company has prepared six contracts, the last contract was promised to be given to her. Mrs. May decided to remove the competitor, the old men did not agree to her terms, but they did not mind, she assumed that the girl went to the bathroom to defuse an embarrassing situation. At the same time, the brother noticed his relative, the beauty showed with all her appearance that she was very depressed and angry. 
The guy immediately realized that his sister had failed, he assumed that everything would not be so simple. But the relative was embarrassed by one thing, how a girl with such a good face, figure and voice could fail. Qin Ze reached out to his sister to cheer her up and ask her about what had happened, as soon as he wanted to talk to her, she grabbed his hand. The girl was pulling her brother on the floor, the relative did not understand what was happening, he decided not to resist. The brother ordered his sister to let him get up, and he asked her what she was up to and why she was doing this. Showing her aggression, the relative resolutely dragged the guy into the bathroom, then threw him and pressed him against the door. Qin Bao Bao slammed the wall with her hand with all her might, the brother was a little nervous about his eldest sister's actions. The main character leaned over to the guy, then pointed her finger at herself and said that she looked good. After that, she said that she looked good, but why didn't they hire her to work as a superstar? The girl asked her brother if she was so untalented and old that they decided to overwhelm her with questions. My sister started saying that she was only 25 years old and looked younger than the high school girls, the guy decided to stop her without hesitation. Qin Bao Bao was surprised by her brother's reaction and became angry with him before asking why he stopped her. Qin Ze had already told his senior sister that the girl would not succeed, especially with such an attitude. The guy said that she was no longer small, she would soon be 30 years old, and the girl had no professional skills. The earth is full of beautiful girls as she is going to get into an industry where there are many talents and young men who crave popularity. With tears in her eyes, the girl asked her brother why he was the same as the members of the commission, she realized that all people are the same. The protagonist started yelling at his elder sister because she was a disgrace to the Qin family, he could only imagine how she was humiliated in the interview. The relative looked away and told the girl not to pretend, she knew what she was getting into and what the risk was. The elder sister was angry with her brother and replied that he was underestimating his relative. The main character waved her hand and said that she was not going to give up, so let her brother watch how the girl gets the job. She told the guy that she had to sing a song of her own composition and they wanted to listen to it. The blue-haired guy asked why she was there, the girl, smiling, replied that she had asked to go to the bathroom to prepare for the performance. Qin Bao Bao unexpectedly suggested that her brother run away from this cursed place because she didn't want to speak in front of these people. The girl took the guy's hand and said that she still had a lot of options, they better go somewhere else. When the brother heard these words, he turned pale, he really did not want to say goodbye to life, so the guy needs to somehow convince the beauty. Qin Ze began to think about how to make his sister change her mind, but the blue-haired young man couldn't think of anything. There was a smile on his brother's face, he began to say goodbye to life, his name was Qin Ze, the guy was in the prime of his life. The protagonist fell to his knees, he never held the girl's hand, but for him life came to an end. Brother started fantasizing, the guy thought that this boss has weak armor and only one health, he wanted to pass the level easily, but the boss is still a boss. The relative came back to reality and asked what the girl had said about a man associated with the company. It was her chance to pass, because it actually hinted that there was already a place for the main character. Qin Bao Bao was very embarrassed and lowered her eyes, she didn't want to talk about it. The guy understood everything and scratched his head, after which he said that he was tired of quarreling with his sister and scolding her endlessly. The brother took his sister by the hand and said that they were going to the beach, the beauty was very happy and wanted to eat. The girl did not understand why they would go to the beach and asked why they would go there. The protagonist couldn't tell his sister that the mission was a failure and at the last moment of his life he wants to enjoy his youth. On the beach, Qin Ze will watch the girls happily running around in their swimsuits, and then quietly fall asleep. At least at the last moment of his miserable life, he will be able to enjoy such a beautiful view. But there was a sound, the guy stopped very quickly, his spine started trembling, and he didn't understand what had happened. The sister worriedly asked the protagonist if he felt bad or if something had happened, why the guy stopped. The blue-haired guy had moved to another dimension, he didn't expect it to happen right now. A relative shouted that time was over sooner than he thought. Qin Ze clutched his head and shouted for the system to at least say the last words. The system reported that the cross item has been activated, it must check it before the time runs out. The guy waved his hands and was very happy, he began to call the system interface to quickly check what was there. The interface was called, and he pressed his index finger on the cross-shaped object, 
but nothing happened. My brother asked the system what it was, a song appeared in his interface, now it remains for his sister to sing this song. The system replied that the quest was very difficult, so he was given this item, now he must win. The protagonist asked why the mysterious voice didn't warn him earlier, the guy was very scared, but even if the system gives him this song, how will he give it to his sister? The mysterious voice replied that he could very easily import the song to his phone, the system asked the protagonist if he wanted to do so, the brother's answer was yes. Qin Zhei turned to his sister with a smile and called for her, but was hit in the face with all his might. There was an awkward pause, the main character did not understand why he was slapped in the face by his older sister. The blue-haired guy asked the girl what she was crazy about, why she hit him so hard and why. The main character hugged him, the brother did not understand what was happening. The student was embarrassed and tried to look away, asking his sister what she was doing, why she suddenly hugged him. He noticed that the beauty was very upset and crying, but why the main character could not understand. Qin Bao Bao addressed the guy by name and said that he was a scoundrel and that her brother had scared her a lot. Qin Zhe asked what was wrong with her, the elder sister said, the main character suddenly froze, she thought that he had a stroke, the girl was very frightened. The guy looked at the beauty embarrassedly and realized that she was just very worried about him. The main character said what she would do and how she explained it to her father, the girl asked her brother to take him to the hospital or immediately to the crematorium. The beauty stuck out her tongue, flirting with her brother, saying that it was just a joke. The protagonist realized that the sister was scared to death, but she does not admit it, the girl is just trying to save face. The relative put his hands in his pocket to find the phone and said that he had the right song for the beauty. The brother began to check his pockets to find headphones and let the main character listen to the song. She didn't see the point of using headphones when a guy could just play a song on his phone so they could listen to it through the speakers. The student hit his sister on the head and said that it was a new song that could be a great success, he didn't want competitors to hear it. The sister took her head and replied that everything was clear to her now and the girl had headphones, only they were in her bag. Qin Bao Bao's bag contained a phone, headphones, and a variety of women's cosmetics. The beauty handed her brother a mobile phone with headphones and told him to take it in his hands. The protagonist was surprised by his sister's red cell phone, it was the same as his. The guy took his phone and his sister's phone in his hand, for a second he wondered, if someone saw them with these two phones, they would probably think they were dating, since they were for couples. The brother recalled how last year on his birthday, his sister said that she had been given a bonus, so she bought him a smartphone. 